Well, unfortunately, I didn't get the best night's sleep here. It was quite peaceful most of the night. Uh, I don't know why I was just tossing and turning, uh, but around 2.30, 3 a.m., it sounded like someone was playing rally car racer and just tearing all around these roads here. They had a really loud car with a loud muffler. Uh, I don't know what was up with that. They were driving around here from about 2.30 till about 5.30 a.m. They'd quiet down for a little bit, like they would stop for a minute, and then just, just crazy. They did come by the van a couple times. Seemed like they slowed down a little bit when they came by the van, uh, but as soon as they passed, they just, you could just hear them just tearing off again. Kind of weird, but um, you know, other than that, it's been very nice here. Tons of birds, pelicans, seagulls. See if we can get a shot of some of the pelicans out here. There's one flying around right now. So it's been very nice. I spent most of the day yesterday swimming. I was in and out of the water pretty much all afternoon. It's nice. The temperature is just cool enough to be refreshing. And um, yeah, just really, really enjoyed it. So not really sure what the day holds for me, if I'm going to stay here another day or what. I'm going to do a little research and see what's uh, west of here. <music> the GPS coordinates for this spot. This, I guess, is technically called Merrill Lake off of the Snake River. And from what I noticed and all the research I did looking at Google Maps satellite view, only seems like there's about a handful of spots here, probably four to six. And it's hit or miss whether or not they're gonna be taken. Did notice yesterday, in the heat of the day, it seemed like some locals came in just to hang out and swim. I spent all day swimming. Oh, it is windy and dusty. I probably wouldn't bring a big RV in here. Definitely not a trailer. There's not a lot of turnaround points. That was worth it. Man, I needed a place where I could swim yesterday. It was just too hot to try to tough it out. Wasn't too bad in the van in the evening hours. Uh, you just keep the side door open and run the roof vent fan and it just kind of keeps the air circulating through there. By the middle of the night, I was able to close my door. It's cool enough and it stayed actually cool in the shade this morning till a good 10 o'clock or so. like our turn off here. Fire conditions very high. This is a Crane Falls Road. Let's see what we got here. Crane Falls Cove Arm boat ramps. Fishing access. Emigrant trail. Well I think Crane Falls is where we want to go. A little bit of a rough gravel road, not too bad. Wow, this looks pretty neat. Look at this. Very nice. It's just beginning to think to myself like, wow, this seems like an awful long way in, but it looks like it's gonna be worth it. This road is pretty rough though. It's uh, not washboard, it's just big rocks. It's not like a gravel road, it's like a rock road. 
it's smoothing out a little bit up here. Looks like there's a lake next to the river. This is cool. Boat ramp, narrow road, no turnaround. Just gonna pull right here real quick. Let's see, camping information. Limited to no more than 10 days in any 30 day period. No garbage service, pack it in, pack it out. This looks like the only real spot that I've noticed here. In this grass, this is pretty rough. Like it got mucked up in the mud. A lot of the water's edge on the way in there seemed like there was a lot of like weedy type stuff in the water where it wouldn't be good for accessing swimming and this is just like gravel. I think this is gonna work out guys. Well just wanted to give you a shot of the camp. It is still wicked windy. It actually feels good with the heat though. There's absolutely no shade out here. Sun should be setting this way, so I'm hoping I'll get a little bit of shade on the side of the van, but just want to give you a shot around here. It is just beautiful with these big rock cliffs here. Check that out, just beautiful. Very nice little spot. A little fish is jumping over here. Got a little fire ring here, although I won't be using that. Nice level spot and I'm right by the water. And check this out, it is nice and clear. You can see a bunch of little fish in there. It's really nice, the last lake I was at yesterday, it was a little murky so you couldn't even see the bottom. This is nice sandy floor here with a little bit of gravel. Nice gradual decline. I'm gonna be able to just walk right in there and cool off. All right, I'm gonna spare you the wind noise. I'm gonna hop in the water, cool off. Okay, I'll give you a shot of what I came up for a camp here. You know, that first spot I was in was beautiful, picturesque, had the nice grassy area with a nice clean water access. But being out in the total sun today, it just wasn't working for me. I need to get the van starting to cool down so I can sleep well tonight. I tried to pull in this little spot right here. And it just it was a little bit too slanted. I couldn't pull far back enough because of these tree branches. The boat ramp is just right there. So I just kind of pulled over in this little hole here. Not much for a sight, but it's very level and I'm in the shade. I had my solar panels in the sun all day, so I'm good there. Got a little bit of sun on the front of the van, but its sun is just gonna be setting this way, so uh, I think this is the best choice for me. I need to get a good night's sleep tonight. I think the heat probably had something to do with it last night. So again, it's not that hot. It's really only, I think, like a little over 90 degrees, but when you got a van parked in full sun all day, it just turns into like an oven in there, and it takes quite a while for it to cool off in the evening hours. So this will work out for me. I'm next to the boat ramp. I can go for a swim if I need to. The vault toilet is right there, so I think this will work out. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.